Hi guys, this is Rusty78609, ladies and gentlemen, 78609 in Central Texas, USA, in my 16-foot travel trailer that I live in. I'm 73 years old, pretty good health. I don't take any medications at all, at all. I don't even have aspirin inside here. So, but anyway, what I wanted to touch on is, is something that not too many people probably talk about. I mean, it's just one of those things, but for those of you that suffer from any kind of, quote, irregularity, in other words, your poop ain't on schedule, uh, and nothing is more frustrating because you don't feel good. When you're bilious, you know what I mean? <coughs> you, you just don't feel good. You feel out of sorts. And I had, I've had several people over a period of time ask me about my diet because I don't have that issue. But anyway, some of the things I do on a regular basis, you know, of course, every morning I have for breakfast, this lovely thing here called oatmeal just plain old oats okay oatmeal okay and inside in the oatmeal i put uh, about a tablespoon of chia seeds that's one and then i add some blueberries two blueberries blueberries okay this back this box right here will last me about 10 days okay don't put many and uh and then you got oatmeal, blueberries, chia seeds. Sometimes I put a banana in if I have one. And I add a little yogurt to the bread. That's my breakfast. Okay, that's my breakfast. And then I keep these things around. Like apples are good for you. Or they, they, they'll help you stay on a regular right train. Yeah, I usually eat a half apple a day. That's it. And uh, yeah, you can get whatever kind you want. I don't think it makes any difference. Uh, another berry that I eat occasionally, I add this to my breakfast too, but maybe just five or six of these, and these are uh, blackberries, okay? And, uh, you know, but they, they can be a little pricey, so I don't add many of them. Just, you know, just two or three or four a day, or, or sometimes I may put them in the blender and uh, make some kind of a smoothie using the, uh, the blackberries. And then another thing that, that I think is really beneficial, and I'm trying to keep this video short. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionologist or whatever you want to call it, nutrition specialist. I just know that these things work for me, and maybe they'll work for you. Now, flaxseed is another one that is really loaded with fiber, just like the, the uh, chia seeds. And it's also got some neat little oils and stuff that will help keep you healthy. Now, you can buy the... You know, the whole seeds and then grind them up yourself or you can eat the seeds whole if you want to just sprinkle them on your salads or whatever you're cooking they don't have any taste just like chia seeds don't have any taste you can just sprinkle them on anything okay but i buy the ground uh it's called cold milled uh, uh organic flax seed it's this right here uh and i get it at my local grocery store i'm not sure how you can get you can probably get it at uh, any of your grocery stores or you can order it from Amazon. But anyway, th this is loaded with some good stuff. And one of the things it's really loaded with is omega-3. You know, it's got 156% of your daily requirement of omega-3 and a lot of fiber and good stuff. But no, but this is just ground organic flaxseed. And one of these little 16 ounce bags will last me about, oh, 40 days because I use about a teaspoon once a day uh, in, either in my cereal or I'll sprinkle it on something that I'm fixing to eat because it doesn't have any taste either. It's like the chia seed that I just mentioned. And then what else? And finally, if you really are having an issue, you know, the old, the, the old train ain't working like it's supposed to or even near on schedule, you can bring out what I call the atomic bomb. You can nuke your digestive system with these prunes, okay? These are dried prunes, okay? Dried pitted prunes. Now, be careful with these little papas because you eat you eat a few of these little mamas and uh, you better be near the lid because uh, they, they work. They definitely work. I mean, yep, they'll get you going pretty good. But every now and then, if I feel like I'm off my schedule a little bit, I'll, I'll nuke myself. And yeah, it works. But and sometimes if I think about it, if I just have a little, uh, want a little snack during the day, I might eat one of those. One, one. You know, if I was really plugged up, I might, I might do two. But be ready because they do work. Another thing that works, even though I don't drink coffee, coffee will work. You know, or something warm in the morning uh, uh, with your breakfast or you know the first thing you do because a lot of people get up in the morning to have a cup of coffee. That's the first thing. Well, that's actually as far as keeping you regular. 
that's actually a pretty good thing to do. But anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Uh, that's the deal on the diet and staying regular. So thumbs up, Carpe Diem, adios, bye bye, buy anything you want. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all my videos. Why? Because I get a small commission, doesn't cost you one penny. What else? Drink plenty of water. See, that's another thing that'll help you stay on that regular train. Plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you won't want to snack so much. What else? Uh, take deep breaths. Breathe in deep. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress. Relieving stress lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Hell yes. If you don't believe me, check it out. And then what else? Uh, stretch, 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 walk, 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 swivel, swivel, swivel. You know, exercise your body uh, once or twice a day whenever you can. You'll feel better because of it. And what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Don't let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. All this up here is yours. That's your mind. So throw a fence up around it and don't let people dump garbage in your mind, okay? You can do that. It's yours. So anyway, having said that, guys, enjoy your day. Enjoy your life one day at a time. Try to eat healthy. You'll feel better. And when you feel better, you know, you'll want to do things. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye.